ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു തിങ്കിങ് ഗ്യാപ്പ് അപ്പോൾ തിങ്കിങ് ഗ്യാപ്പിൻ്റെ മറ്റൊരു ക്ലാസ്സിലേക്ക് നിങ്ങളെവരെ ഞാൻ സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇന്നത്തെ ക്ലാസ്സിൽ നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ലെക്ചർ ഇൻ പോളിടെക്നിക്കിൽ കോൺക്രീറ്റിനെ പറ്റിയിട്ടാണ് കോൺക്രീറ്റിനെ പറ്റിയിട്ടുള്ള ക്ലാസ്സാണ് ഇന്നത്തെ ക്ലാസ് നമുക്കധികം സമയം വേണ്ട നേരെ ക്ലാസ്സിലേക്ക് പോകാം we are discussing about what are the ingredients of concrete what are the ingredients of concrete so the ingredients of concrete are first one cement second one fine aggregate third one coarse aggregate and water so the ingredients are cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate and water so first we are going to discussing about cement 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 it is used to bind the fine and coarse aggregate together cement it is used to bind the fine and coarse aggregate together so cement ne kurichu nammal munnatha class il padichittunde adu adinde oru icon njan ivide koduttittunde ningal adile click cheyyanal aa class ningalku kaanavunnadana appo njan adine kurichu koodalayittu parayunnilla adinde class nammal orikka cheyittunde adine idu njan link ivide koduttittunde adile kere aa cement inde class ningalku full aayittu kaanan pattunnana namukku appo second ilotu povam second is aggregate aggregate so it is a general term applied to those inert or chemically inactive materials when we which are bounded together by cement and water to form concrete so it is a general term applied to those inert or chemically inactive materials which are bounded together by cement and water to form concrete so about 75 percentage so about 75 percentage of oleum of the concrete is composed of aggregate so about 75 percentage oleum of concrete is composed of aggregate example crushed air crushed rock and inert bound gravel etc so example are river sand gravel crushed air crushed rock etc so aggregates are classified into two types first one fine aggregate and the second one is coarse aggregate fine aggregate and coarse aggregate so fine aggregates are aggregates which are processed through a 4.7 mm is sieve and coarse aggregates are aggregate which retained on 4.7 mm is sieve that is size of fine aggregate less than 4.7 mm and coarse aggregate greater than 4.7 mm 4.75 mm so that is important so the uh, size of uh, fine aggregate less than 4.75 mm and of coarse aggregate greater than 4.75 mm next we are going to discussing about the qualities of good aggregate qualities of good aggregate so what are the qualities of good aggregate first one is aggregate should be hard dense durable and chemically inert and chemically inert so uh, so what are the good qualities of uh, aggregate aggregate should have a hard dense durable and chemically inert second one it should not contain harmful ingredients it should not contain harmful ingredients it should not contain harmful ingredients and third one is it should be free from organic impurities it should be free from organic impurities organic impurities and the fourth one is toughness toughness should not exceed toughness should not exceed 45 percentage toughness should not exceed 45 percentage and the fifth one is abrasion value 
should not exceed should not exceed 16 percentage abrasion value should not exceed 16 percentage specific gravity sixth point specific gravity specific gravity slides between 2.6 to 2.7 so specific gravity slides between 2 points is between 2.6 to 2.7 water absorption should not be greater than 10 percentage water absorption should not be greater than 10 percentage and eighth one is thermal expansion similar to that of cement matrix cement matrix thermal expansion is similar to that of cement matrix and the ninth one is should be sound enough to resist excessive changes in volume excessive changes in volume so the uh, ninth point is should be sound enough to resist excessive changes in volume these are the qualities of good aggregate these are the qualities of good aggregate so the fourth one is water water so water is used for mixing concrete should be portable concrete should be portable portable so in abraham's water cement ratio law states that for any given conditions of test the strength of a workable concrete mix dependent only on water cement ratio so insufficient quantity of water makes a concrete mix harsh and unsecurable unworkable sorry harsh and unworkable insufficient quantity of water makes a concrete mix harsh and unworkable so excess quantity of water causes bleeding and uh, segregation of concrete so excess uh, excess quantity of water causes bleeding and uh, segregation of concrete the strength of a concrete is inversely proportional to water cement ratio so other important anam, the strength of concrete is inversely proportional to water cement ratio inversely proportional to water cement ratio water cement ratio appo njangada channel idore kandittilla tharangal undengil kaanuga like cheyuga share cheyuga and subscribe cheyuga